It is the fourth and final fixture at this year's Oran Cup, and it is a winner-takes-all meeting between the Swiss champions Young Boys and Wolverhampton Wanderers. Both clubs started with a victory earlier in the week. So this effectively becomes the final of the competition. There is silverware at stake in Switzerland. That's what they're playing for. The young boys have home advantage. There's the Stadion Neufeld in Bern, where the club played their youth team matches, hosts the game in the Oren Cup for the very first time. The young boys are just over a week away from the start of the defence of the Swiss title that they won for the first time in 32 years last season. They are seven times winners of the Oren Cup. Wolves on their debut in Europe's oldest annual pre-season tournament are out to take the trophy back to England after it was won last year by Stoke City. The side's almost ready to go then. Nuno Espirito Santo's team beat Basel 2-1 on Tuesday at the start of the competition. Young boys won 3-0 against Feyenoord the next night. A result that looks even more impressive given that the Dutch side went on to beat Basel 5-0 yesterday at the Tiso Arena in Biel. Venue for the first three fixtures in the competition. The officiating team today, led by Pascal Lechner. The equation straightforward. Victory here and the trophy is yours. If it does end in a draw, by the way, after 90 minutes, we will go to a penalty shootout to decide which team gets their hands on that impressive-looking piece of silverware. First season in charge of uh, young boys is ahead for their coach, Gerardo Ciani. A week tomorrow, they start the defence of their title. Ciani coming in from Luzerne to replace their title-winning coach. Has uh, since gone to Eintracht Frankfurt, Adi Hartler. Replacing Nico Kovac. They were close to a double last year, lost out in the Swiss Cup final. Wolves, of course, had plenty to celebrate themselves last season as well, returning to the top flight after a six year absence. This is their starting lineup. They played two different 11s in each half on Tuesday in their first fixture against uh, Basel. This more closely resembles the side, the more senior side that played the second half. The only players to keep their starting spots from the start of uh, the first fixture are the goalkeeper John Ruddy, Ivan Cavaliero and the 18-year-old Ryan Giles, the Academy Player of the Year who impressed in those 45 minutes that he got against Basel and he will start at left wing back in a uh, familiar 3-4-3 formation. Uh, this is the young boys side and it shows just three changes from the 3-0 victory against Feyenoord. Christian Fashnacht, Gregory Vutrek, who scored the big defender off the bench in that game, and Leonardo Batone all come into the starting 11. Torsten Schick, Kasim Nuhuhu, and Sandro Laupa are the men to make way. They are not involved uh, in the squad today. Just uh, five substitutes named by young boys for this one. Pascal Alachna, then our match official, getting ready to get the action started in the Swiss sunshine. Three o'clock kickoff in Bern. First time this stadium has ever hosted a game in the Oran Cup, which is in its 54th edition this summer. Young boys have won it seven times. Only Basel have won it more frequently. All we know so far is that Basel will finish bottom of the four-team tournament this year after their successive defeats, including that damaging 5-0 defeat to uh, Feyenoord yesterday. But this is all about which team can take the trophy. Although for Wolves, of course, in particular, it is about much more than that. About fitness levels at this stage of pre-season. They've still got just under a month to go to their big kick-off on their return to the Premier League. Different story for young boys. They need to be much more up to speed. Willie Bowley with a challenge. And the early free kick was always going to be forthcoming for young boys from here. Miralem Suleimani is going to take it, the set-piece specialist in the side. The Serbian is one of the most familiar names in this team. Over 100 games for Ajax. He's going to swing it in low, left-footed. It's comfortably cleared away. Wolves in the white. Their change colours getting everybody back behind the ball for the early set-piece. The crowd is a massive black and gold, sported by both sets of supporters in the sunshine. 
slightly lighter tinge to the uh, young boys kit also relaunched for this season it's their opening day effectively the newly assembled squad for the champions for the current campaign introduced to their supporters just prior to kick off here in uh, what is now a familiar annual ceremony cleared away by their goalkeeper David von Balmus played the uh, full 90 minutes for them in the victory against Feyenoord Fashnecht one of the three two come into the Starting lineup today. Kevin and Barbu will advance dangerously down the right hand side. Speculative effort is always just going wide of John Ruddy's goal, but it's the uh, first attempt of note with just a couple of minutes on the clock. Last year's Championship goalkeeper of the year with a battle for his place, of course, after the arrival of Rui Patricio, who will arrive in a week or so's time once Wolves get home from their training camp in Switzerland, given time off after his World Cup duties with Portugal. Although his signing from Sporting causing one of the sagas of the summer, which may rumble on for some time, with the Lisbon club writing to FIFA to complain. Writing a 63-page document calling for Wolves to be banned from signing players for a couple of transfer windows and asking them to pay £48 million for Rui Patricio, who cancelled his contract with them before his move to Molyneux. As I say, that may go on for some time. Focus here very much on the football. Wolves with the free kick inside their own half. The target is uh, Helda Costa. He's come back for the new season. Looking in very good shape. Noticeably bulked up, I think, since the end of last season as the uh, Portuguese under-23 international. Both he and even Cavaliero may be battling for a, a starting spot between them for the new season, but uh, they both line up in the same side, either side of Leo Bonatini today. And Suleimani. Trying to thread it through, but it's actually gone Wolves' way. Regular in this side now since his move from uh, Benfica back in 2015. Merilam Suleimani, the Belgrade-born Serbian international, 20 caps for his country. It's cost Ajax around about 15 million euros. He's an important member of the team that brought the title back to Bern. Ulysses Garcia is a newcomer for this season for the Swiss side. Signed from Werder Bremen on a four-year contract, around about €800,000. There's Kevin Mbappé, previously of the Premier League, very briefly during his time at Newcastle. Starting a third year with the young boys, the first of which was on loan from St James's Park. Made it permanent ahead of the title-winning campaign. Although he can play on either flank, he's featuring predominantly in this pre-season from the right-hand side, Mbabu. Oh, Doherty down the wall's right was the target for the longer, uh, longer ball forward. First choice in that position last season, of course. It was in pre-season some eight years ago. He was spotted playing for Bohemians back in Ireland. As of March, now a senior international for the Republic of Ireland. The young boys building from the back. This man, uh, Gregory Vutrach, came off the bench to score against Feyenoord. As did Roger Asali. Those two scored within a matter of minutes of each other to turn a very slender-looking 1-0 lead against the Dutch Cup holders into a pretty comprehensive 3-0 victory by the end. And Asale has got the uh, the free kick here. Challenge on the Cameroonian. Ryan Giles will let it go for the throw. Big uh, show of faith in him that he starts again for the second time in the tournament, having impressed in his first half appearance against Basel. The 18-year-old academy player of the year for Wolves, who ended last season at his hometown team Telford in National League North. Big step up so far this summer. Here's Mbappé. They had Oro in the middle. He's the danger man. 
the imposing French forward, Guillaume Oro. Scored the opening goal. A pick of the goals, maybe, in the victory against Feyenoord. Last season's top scorer. And Barbie's in again here looking for Oro. He was a former French international. He's now 34. He won five caps for his country. Although the last of those some seven years ago now. But still an imposing figure up front. Fifth season now approaching since his move from Bordeaux. The former Paris Saint-Germain player. There's 15 goals in the title-winning team made in the team's top scorer. And Barbie looking for options from this throw. Heavily involved so far. Gets it back from uh, Gibral So. And tried to return it to him. Giles had other ideas. Decent attendance today, as you can see from the fans soaking up the sunshine. Just the one stand at this study in Neufeld, which uh, we're bringing you the commentary from, which holds about 3,000. Loris Benito to uh, Vutrec. Benito really a fullback by trade, but operating in the heart of the young boys' defence today. Experienced Steve von Bergen, the 35-year-old centre-back, is uh, not involved in this one. Here's Boli, had a brilliant goal-line block to prevent an almost certain Basel equaliser in Wolves' first fixture on Tuesday at the Tiso Arena in Beale. Placed themselves in Switzerland, of course, uh, all week of Wolves, and then be heading home after this. Training near Lake, uh, Lake Geneva in Montreux. First game in uh, Beale Bien, and now here in Bern. Ulysses Garcia waiting to take the throw. There's Benito. And Babu. Patient in possession, but Wolves working hard without the ball. And their opponents half of the pitch, forcing it back to Von Balmus. get the nod as the first choice goalkeeper ahead of the experienced Marco Wolfi for the, the new season. They shared goalkeeping duties really almost uh, literally equally during last season. And it's Von Balmus that has been preferred in this pre-season so far, the 23-year-old uh, former under-20 international. Now Helder Costa could be in behind, he is. All sorts of time and space there and it's saved by the right boot of Von Balmus. Good start, but Helder Costa will feel he should have opened the scoring in this Oren Cup decider. All of a sudden, he was in behind and almost had too much time to think about it. By some margin, the uh, most presentable opportunity, 10 minutes in. Free kick goes against Wolves. And uh, Ryan Bennett on this occasion. A chance, though, and it was a real chance. It was for Helder Costa. Nothing in it so far. But there very well might have been. Young boys look for Mbappé. Giles, who was with him. Standing his ground was sufficient there for Ryan Giles. He will uh, wait to take the throw himself. Had an impressive end to the season at Telford. Will be in the sixth tier of English football, so a uh, very different level. But he's going to have to step up to if he wants to become a more frequent 
part of the uh, the Wolves setup, which of course is the long-term aim for him. Whether that be with the under-23s under Rob Edwards, who was his coach at Telford at the end of last season, or out on loan again, it remains to be seen. He's happy, he says, to do whatever the club feels is best for his development. But being on this first team trip to Switzerland is uh, already proving a key part of that development. A number of the under-19 players from last season brought along and only found out a couple of days actually before the trip that they would be on the flight. Here's a Saleh. An equal physical duel, that one really with uh, Willie Bowley though, he's got the uh, physique. saleh has got plenty of pace but couldn't find a way past the Wolf centre-back. He was on loan from Porto last season, made permanent after promotion. A Braga player. Started his career at Ozer. Returned by uh, Vutrach. Oro dropping deeper to try and get involved, but he couldn't make it stick, and Costa comes away with it. There's Duraty. Will be left for Connor Cody at the heart of the defence. It's Wolves' turn to enjoy a little prolonged, patient period of possession before trying to mix it up a bit and look longer for Matt Doherty. Couldn't quite rise to keep that one in play. Just a bit too high for the right wing back. They've played this 3-4-3 formation really in every game under Nuno Espirito Santo and all of the players are so well drilled in the system now that no change in pre-season in that respect. Coaches can often use friendly such as this to experiment tactically. It hasn't really been the case for Wolves. Not yet anyway. Here's uh, Ulysses Garcia taking on Doherty. Well, it looked like John Ruddy had it covered. Ryan Bennett decided he couldn't take the chance. And cuts it out, albeit at the concession of the corner. Garcia causing a few issues. Can play further forward than the, uh, the left-back role. Equally comfortable, really, on the wing. Started his career in Switzerland with uh, Grasshopper in Zurich before that move to uh, Werder Bremen, where he spent the majority of his senior career up until his summer switch back to Switzerland. Soleimani will take the corner kick short. Didn't quite work out, though. Foot in was an important one from uh, Cavaliero. Garcia here to try again. All right. He's a big physical presence, but he's a natural finisher as well. Been top scoring every season at the club. Since he made that switch to Burn from Bordeaux. Regarded as uh, one of their own here these days, that is for sure. Colourful character as well, who's uh, hoping to go into the music business when he finishes his playing career. A touch from Batone. Vertrach. Benito to Garcia. Interesting to see Loris Benito filling in at centre back. It might be where he spends much of the season on the evidence anyway of this Oran Cup, which is the uh, continuation, effectively, really the conclusion of young boys' pre season preparations for Wolves, that of course is uh, very much just the start. Mixed a bag of results for young boys already. They did win at the Austrian Bundesliga side, Reindorf Altach by three goals to two uh, at the end of June, but uh, then lost to Ludogorets of Bulgaria. They start at home to Grasshopper in the Swiss Super League a week tomorrow, the 22nd of July. They do have a Champions League campaign to come later this summer. They will start that in the playoff round. The Swiss champions used to go straight through to the group stage, as Basel did last year. But uh, not so this time because of the 
falling UEFA coefficient. Arsenal, of course, went on to make the, uh, the knockout stages, qualified with Manchester United, lost to Manchester City, but were beaten by Wolves on the opening day of the Oran Cup. They were beaten to the Swiss title after winning it eight years in a row with Basel by young boys, 15 points, the difference between the teams last season. And to Basel to get back in the Champions League, they will have to do it from the uh, second qualifying round onwards. Much more difficult task this time around. They won their first title since 1986 with four games to spare, did young boys last season. Hugely impressive campaign under Ardi Herter, hence his move to the Bundesliga. Spirito Santo in his first season with Wolves last year led them to 99 points in the championship highest ever tally in the second tier and has since been rewarded with a, a contract extension he's added a, a further year to his deal so still three more years to run having signed on for three last summer what a success story it has sparked so far for Wolves although by his own admission it will be a very different type of season in the Premier League as they uh, want to make the big step up Three promoted teams last year proving it can be done as all stayed in the Premier League. That's the initial target for Wolves before going on to try and establish themselves in the top flight. They look to advance here through Bonatini. Trying to combine with Ryan Giles as far forward as we've seen him so far, but just runs out of room. Learning so much, he says, just from being around and training with the senior players on this trip. The 18-year-old Ryan Giles. It's one of those singled out for praise after the first fixture. Fellow youngsters like Elliot Watt and Pedro Gonçalves also uh, did their cases no harm at all. Watt is uh, back on the bench today. Gonçalves not involved. Also have uh, Bright Enebakare as part of the squad who uh, only linked up with the uh, the players later in the week because of visa issues. Arrived a couple of days ago. Replacement really in the travelling party for Roderick Miranda, who did set off for Switzerland, but no sooner had he landed than he went on to Greece and is now officially signed for Olympiakos on loan for the coming season, he won't be part of the plans in the Premier League. This is Morgan Gibbs-White. Standout breakthrough season he had last year in the heart of the Wolves midfield. Still only 18 years of age, part of the England Under-17 World Cup winning squad. Been with Wolves since he was just eight years of age. They look long here for Helder Costa, who just for a moment, looked like he was about to bring it down, but he couldn't find the finish. Best chances for Wolves so far are falling to this man. And Helder Costa hasn't yet been able to capitalise. Important intervention, getting back from Benito to make it more difficult than it might have been. It was Rafa Mir that opened the scoring for Wolves in their first fixture. He begins on the bench. So too does uh, Diego Jota, who came off the bench to score the winner against Basel. I'm sure we'll see him at some stage in the second half. A lot of last season's regulars brought back into the starting lineup for this one, but last season's top scorer, Diego Jota, not one of them. He uh, bides his time for later. So many of the Portuguese players brought in by Nuno Espirito Santo making a... Uh, a real impact last season. Cavaliero linking with Giles down that left-hand side. It was in towards Costa. Headed clear by Benito. 
Oro to try and spark the counter-attack. Gibral so had done well to get his foot in and uh, offer them the opportunity to build that counter-attack in the first place. But there's the opposing number eight, Ruben Neves. Another of those Portuguese players that I was talking about who maybe made more headlines than most last year as Wolves Player of the Year. Club record, just short of £16 million they paid for him. Along for another of the Portuguese here, Cavaliero. Also had a particularly impressive season, 12 assists and nine goals. He was linked with Fulham earlier in the summer. Looks like he remains a big part of Nuno's plans. It's comfortable for John Ruddy. As we reach the midway point of the first half in Bern, also with the best chances so far, really the only notable opening that for Helder Costa. Notable at either end. Connor Cody. I think just giving the players the opportunity to take a, a little bit of a breather at the halfway point of this first half because of the uh, the temperatures in Bern today very hot and heavy work for them and very little between them so far a, a reminder of it does stay like this and there is still of course a long way to go but if it is um, a draw after 90 minutes then we go straight to a penalty shootout to decide which team gets their hands on the, the Oran Cup. Those will be relatively satisfied so far. I haven't had too many alarms. And they have had chances for Helder Costa in particular. This was the latter of them, which was just taken off him by uh, Benito. He tried to bring it down on the chest. Not expected of uh, Ruben Neves wherever he goes. And no great surprise may be that young boys have been paying particularly close attention to the uh, Portuguese in the heart of the midfield. Made Portugal's provisional 35-man squad for the World Cup without uh, making the final cut for Russia. Hence, he is involved at this stage of pre-season. Gerardo Cioani, the uh, replacement for uh, Adel Hutter. Does have a big job on his hands, former Lucerne midfielder. <laughs> 39 years of age, relatively inexperienced at coaching level, but what an opportunity to take charge of the champions. And clinch that title there. First since 86 with a 2-1 home win against Luzerne at the end of April. We're a little unfortunate not to end up doing the double. Six times Swiss Cup winners, not won that since 1987. And we've been 2-1 by Zurich in the final. Miralem Suleimani pulled a late goal back 10 minutes from time, but they were already two down by then and they couldn't turn it around. More silverware in their sights in this Oran Cup, of course, but this could be dangerous for them. This is Bonatini for Wolves, with support from Cavaliero. The opening goal is beautifully taken by Ivan Cavaliero. And Wolves strike first in this Oran Cup decider. Player who was so impressive in scoring nine times, in setting up 12 goals in the championship last year, who's had his suitors this summer, has settled Wolves down in Switzerland. Well worked in the build-up, Bonatini involved as well, and then steered into the corner by Cavaliero. One of only three players to keep his place in the uh, starting lineup from Tuesday's victory over Basel. Responds with a really well-taken goal. Well, football not coming home as the England fans were hoping in the World Cup at the Oran Cup, won by Stoke City. Last season could be coming back to England as it stands. Wolves in front. Players all got together at the training camp in Switzerland to watch that World Cup semi-final on uh, Wednesday, day after their opening game. It's been the uh, focus of 
Most of the football fans out here as well. And the final to come tomorrow. And this has turned into a final in the Oran Cup, and it's uh, Wolves who have the edge. Role reversal for them, really, from Tuesday when they had to come from behind against Basel. This time, John Ruddy and his team have a lead to defend. Ruddy, another to start both matches. Interesting to see if Nuno uh, changes the entire 11 again at the interval as he uh, did earlier in the week. The indications we're getting that could well be the case. But this does look the, uh, the stronger lineup of the two in a, a role reversal from Tuesday. They are so far making it count, and they will get the corner here. The ball in from Giles deflected behind. Cavaliero, the goal scorer, looks like he's the one that's going across to take this corner kick. Bonatini is an obvious target. Boli has come up from the back, as you would expect as well. It was a dangerous one. And the danger might not have been entirely dealt with yet. Everybody that had ventured forward will stay forward. And they'll try again on the opposite side. Again, good ball. Again, it had to be defended. This time, though, it will be the young boy's ball and the chance to clear the danger. Oh, the Costa this time with the, uh, the Wolves delivery. Left foot from the right-hand side. Roll reversal to Cavaliero. He took the earlier one, but nothing quite at the end of it for them. The end of their trip here to Switzerland. Busy pre-season plan, though, after this, once they get back home. They will be involved in the H Hotels Cup in Germany a week tomorrow. Well, they'll play two 45-minute matches. And still, once they get home, games against Ajax, Stoke, Derby and Villarreal to play for the big kick-off that it is all building towards against Everton at Molyneux on August the 11th. End of a six-season absence from the top flight of English football. Here's Cavaliero, thinking it through to uh, Helder Costa, 2-0. Wonderfully worked goal again, the two Portuguese players combine and Elder Costa doubles the Wolves lead before half an hour is up. They take another stride towards securing the silverware in Switzerland. At the start of this pre-season for Wolverhampton Wanderers, a season which promises much with the return to the promised land of the Premier League. They are in the mood at the moment. Cavaliero dinking it through, and then Costa dinking it over the goalkeeper. He has had his chances so far today, has held a Costa, but he's taken that one in some style. Half an hour in, and Wolves here, two goals to the good. Two goals in relatively quick succession from the uh, Portuguese playmakers. Cavaliero, of course, a senior international for Portugal. A couple of caps for his country. Helder Costa, former record signing. Has played for them up to uh, under-23 level, and goal and born player. And joined initially a couple of summers ago from Benfica on loan. They made it permanent for £13 million the following January. Previous loans at Deportivo La Coruña and uh, Monaco. Uh, Cavaliero was uh, also on the books. Big investment on talented uh, performers reaping its rewards over the last couple of seasons for Wolves. The Chinese investment ownership group, Fosun International, have certainly backed the club and backed the coach with the money spent. And they have, as I say, been uh, reaping their rewards with their return to the Premier League. Further signings are expected this summer before the season starts, when the window closes. 
Well, Jimenez brought in on loan. Rui Patricio has signed, as we've mentioned, from Sporting. And they will link up with the squad and their new teammates once they get back home. Jimenez also on World Cup duty with Mexico. Romain Saez and Ruben Venagra, the Portuguese under-19 international, amongst the others, are not on this trip, who have been given a, a longer break. There's Mbappé. You do sense that before the break in this game, young boys need something back if they're to really give themselves the best chance of responding in the second half. There's Batone. Defensive midfield player, finding uh, Ulysses Garcia. Taken off him by Helder Costa. Doing his defensive duties to go with the goal scoring. And the onus really is on young boys to try and increase the tempo. The heat possibly having uh, an effect. Very useful exercise for Wolves in these conditions though. Priority remains for them building up the fitness ahead of the new season. Although you can tell that a lot of work has been done already by the players whilst they've been away on their holidays. All given a series of uh, programmes to follow and runs to do. And they are benefiting, it would appear, from sticking rigidly to those instructions. It's Garcia. Asale had made the run ahead of him. Chibrol so. Charles looking for options. There's Bennett, who's just too far ahead of Matt Doherty. Ryan Bennett gets it back again. Gibbs White will win the free kick. He's the one that the young players are really looking up to. Morgan Gibbs White as inspiration up against Gibraltar so in the heart of midfield. Morgan uh, Gibbs White has proved that it's possible, even at such a tender age, to break into the uh, the Wolves' first team and get regular game time. And Charles will be hoping to uh, potentially follow suit. And there are others on this trip. Cameron John, we saw on Tuesday at the back, Pedro Gonçalves and Elliot, what we've mentioned in the midfield. And Alfred Ndai going back to Villarreal. There might be an opening in midfield for one of them, depending possibly on the transfer policy between now and the start of the season as well. Michel Mario, who was on loan at West Ham from Sporting last season, possible target. Alexander Zinchenko of Manchester City, the uh, young Ukrainian, is another player that has regularly been linked with Wolves over the summer. Returning to the club, actually, over the last day or so, Joe Mason, somewhat unexpectedly from Colorado Rapids, who's still in uh, MLS, was due to run until October, but Charles Barnes has now signed on in Colorado, and they've decided Joe Mason was surplus to requirements. So he's uh, returning to Wolves, albeit not expected to feature really a part of their plans going forward, and they might look to move him out on loan again, or possibly permanently. Sonny Ange has also been on his way. He's joined Liga Sai Khan after a couple of years with Wolves. So the squad taking shape in terms of incomings and outgoings, but there is more to follow maybe as young boys press here. Doherty hoping for the decision, but it's actually gone the other way. It's a young boys ball taken quickly by Garcia. This is Batone. Now Gibraltar, joined from uh, Mauricio Bont 
Borussia Mönchengladbach back in the summer of last year. Four-year contract. They paid about 1.7 million euros for him. Went on to help them to the title. Zurich-born player. You didn't manage to get in the Gladbach side. Certainly a different story for him at Young Boys. 27 appearances, 22 starts, a solitary goal in the Swiss Super League last season. Now Wolves have worked this well into space. Doherty well advanced, looking for options in the middle. Goes back in the end to Gibbs White. And has Suleimani snapping at his heels. This is Bolik. Ruben Neves. What a first season he had at the club as player of the year, justifying that record fee. Six league goals all coming from outside the penalty area. Some very spectacular strikes amongst them. Hasn't really had a solid goal so far today. Time for that to change, certainly. Here goes Cavaliero, the man who opened the scoring. Trying to find another one. Wasn't too far away. Certainly determined to make something happen, even Cavaliero. As I mentioned, his future did appear to be in a bit of doubt earlier in the summer. He's still not necessarily guaranteed a starting spot when the Premier League gets underway, but he is doing his case no harm at all on this trip to Switzerland. River Neves coming deep to take the ball off his centre-back. Seen it so frequently last year. Ryan Bennett forward gets it back from Doherty. And the two-goal cushion already. They don't have to be in any great hurry. They can try and control proceedings, can Wolves? That will be a free kick. Not the first one that Gibral Sos conceded in the, uh, the midfield. Benito, they'll build from the back. Wolves content enough to afford young boys the time to do that in this part of the pitch. Leonardo Batone takes over. Oh, does that smack of the home side struggling for inspiration just at the moment? They're toiling in the heat. Wolves with more than an element of authority and control over proceedings, not just afforded them by the scoreline. Keeping young boys at arm's length pretty comfortably so far and going through the gears again through uh, Gibbs White. Held a Costa in support. Again, he tried to chest it down but couldn't get the shot away at the end of it. Just dinked into his path once more. Kevin and Barbu trying to get back covering from uh, right back. Made it more awkward than it would otherwise have been for Helder Costa. Those runs are causing young boys plenty of problems. Not always been able to find the finish, but he did for Wolves' second goal. That's the one that has given them a little bit of breathing space. Oro has had to feed off scratch really so far. The focal point, the big Frenchman in the young boys' attack been able to get as involved as he would have liked. Fashnecht will help it on here for Mbabu. Charles, who's with him, trying to prevent the cross from coming in. Support from Suleimani. Away by Costa, though. <laughs> Gibbs White's seeing plenty of the ball in the uh, midfield at the moment, the 18-year-old from Stafford. He missed last year's pre-season trip to Austria. He was injured this time a year ago, but soon made up for lost time. It's a 
pre-season that precluded such a memorable campaign for Wolverhampton Wanderers. And they will hope, they will look back on their time in Switzerland in a, a similar fashion. A little bit later down the line. Here they come again. Ball played down the line for Cavaliero. Stopped by Mbappé. A little glance in the direction of the officials there by Ivan Cavaliero, but nothing forthcoming. Mbappé was able to bring it away as Cavaliero continues the complaints. Now, was there anything in this? Possibly not quite enough for the award of the penalty, certainly in a fixture such as this. It was worth a shout. Closing stages of this first half, which has all gone Wolves' way. They are closing in on uh, lifting the trophy. And of course, in the overall scheme of things, although it might not be the most significant piece of silverware, it is certainly a sizable piece of silverware. It would be only the third English winners of it. Mentioned Stoke City last year, and they will hope that uh, that isn't an omen after they went on to uh, end the campaign with relegation. Ipswich Town, the other English winners. Jean-Paul's look for Oro. <laughs> Ipswich won it back in 1963, only the second ever edition of the competition. And it's the uh, 54th. And this is a uh, young boy's corner, Miralem Sulemani, the Serbian set-piece specialist to take. Can they get something back before half-time here? Not a bad delivery from Soleimani, but it's just skimmed over everybody in the middle. And Barbie to try and keep the danger alive. Closely marshalled by Ryan Giles. Ulysses Garcia. Touch for Batoni and back again. Benito. Needs to be more urgency, though. Wolves keeping their shape and their discipline back behind the ball. Just looking to hold this 2-0 lead to half-time and then uh, reassess the situation. Maybe it will be all change, and it will give them that healthy lead to work with if the second string are on for the second half. I say second string, there are still some very familiar names amongst the Wolves substitutes. You know, Espirito Santo has mixed it up a little bit more than he did on Tuesday in terms of the uh, squad selection. That will be a free kick, Soleimani waiting to take it. Will be one of the last opportunities of the half, this for young boys. No surprise, therefore, they've committed plenty forward, but it's actually been touched short by Soleimani. Not sure they gained too much from that. In by Mbappé in the end, out by Cavaliero. They've actually gone all the way back, this time from Batoni to his goalkeeper, Von Balmus. They didn't capitalise upon the, uh, the set-piece opportunity. Good to have a solitary minute added on it. The end of this half because of the uh, the drinks break. Nicholas Jenczewski is the uh, fourth official. One added minute from here. But it goes again towards Zoro's sporting the captain's armband for young boys. Back to Sulamani. A little fortunate that it fell back on that left foot, but it was worth a pot at goal, he couldn't quite trouble the target with it. But it's a rare shot at goal from the Swiss champions in this first half. John Ruddy wasn't required, he's had a very quiet time of it, really. One time England goalkeeper, one cap England goalkeeper. He's determined to fight for his place with Rio Patricio. Doesn't necessarily believe the signing of the European champion will end his days in the Wolves' goal. That will end the first half here with Wolves on top and on course to lift the Oran Cup. The goals from the Portuguese players, Cavaliero and Costa. A 
the letter doubling the Wolves lead half an hour in has given them a position of authority at the break at the Stadion Neufeld. It's with the first of them, scored in some style by Ivan Cavaliero, took it really well. Leo Bonatini involved in the build-up, curled it into the corner. And then Cavaliero turning provider for Helder Costa, and that was a really cute finish. He had had a couple of chances prior to this, but got that one right, certainly, to clip it beyond David von Balmus. And double the lead, as I say, with half an hour played at that stage of proceedings. Wills may make math change it again, the possibility of an entirely different side for the second half, we shall see, but the travelling fans are enjoying it in the sunshine in Bern so far against the Swiss champions. They've dominated this, they're on course for the trophy. Half-time at Stadion Neufeld, it's Young Boys nil, Wolverhampton Wanderers 2. Boys by two goals to nil, 45 minutes away from uh, claiming the Oran Cup to take back to uh, the Midlands. And it does look as if it's the same Wolves eleven that have reappeared for the second half. Of course, Nino Espirito Santo on Tuesday, the first game of this competition against Basel, opted to play an entirely different eleven in each half, but a slight change of tactic in that respect today. And he won't be utilising the majority of his substitutes bench until later in the game. They are, as I say, leading by two goals to nil are Wolves. This was the first of them, scored by Ivan Cavaliero. Leo Bonatini with some fine work in the build-up. And then a cool, composed finish into the corner from Cavaliero, who then set up Helder Costa for number two just before the uh, half-hour. Equally fine finish from Costa, who'd had a, a decent chance of note just prior to that as well. He dinked it over the goalkeeper to uh, double the Wolves lead, which they were able to maintain to half-time in the Swiss sunshine. We are about to get started again here. Pascal Erlachner, our referee. Just doing his final checks. Wolves have made a change at half time and brought on Bright uh, in a Bakara. It was the last to link up with this squad after visa issues, but uh, he's on for the second period. Place of Cavaliero, it looks like. We'll try and confirm that for you in a moment, but it does appear to be the only. Wolves change at this juncture and as you were as well for young boys who have named just five substitutes on the bench for this game. Their final pre-season fixture before they start the defence of the Swiss Super League title a week tomorrow. With a home game against Grasshopper at Stade de Suisse across town. This is the uh, the venue for their youth team game, Stadion Neufeld. It's also the home ground of uh, FC Bern, a lower league Swiss side. And it is pretty full for this one. And Skips White making good ground for Wolves down the right. Bonatini calling for it in the middle, gets it! And it comes back off the bar. Just a minute of the second half played and Wolves could have been out of sight already, really. Leo Bonatini. Wanted the ball from Gibbs White, he didn't quite get it exactly where he wanted it, but he was still able to readjust, and there was an important touch off Van Balmus, the goalkeeper, onto his bar before they scrambled away and survived the scare at the expense of the corner. Held the Costa to take, a lot of movement in the middle as well, awaiting this uh, delivery, and somehow it's eluded everybody. A whole posse of players in there, Ruben Nevis to try and return it, and they'll get another corner. It's an awful lot of last season's player of the year in that first 45. Indeed, Nuno Espirito Santo didn't luck on the touchline altogether. Pleased with what he was seeing for about the first 20 minutes or so, and all of a sudden they scored twice and took complete charge of the game. Costa to try again from the corner on the other side. And Barbu heading it partially clear. Fashnet will help it on and further away from danger. But Nevis to keep it in. Gibbs White. Well, fitness will be an issue as this goes on in the uh, sapping Swiss sunshine as well, I'm sure, at this stage of pre season. Getting through it, something that will aid Wolves in terms of their approach to full sharpness. The 
closer the season gets. They still got nearly a month before the Premier League gets underway. In uh, contrast to their opponents. Not that you'd know it really from uh, the respective performances or certainly from the scoreline. And here's Helder Costa again. Does look like he means business for this season, having uh, bonked up over the summer. And a very risky challenge for Mbabu to attempt from behind, but he got away with it. Neves. It's a difficult ball, actually, for Gibbs White. He's got the decision against Suleimani. He caught him inside the centre circle. Wouldn't necessarily affect Ruben Neves for that, but made sure he got his body across Suleimani and uh, drew the foul and won the free kick. Frustrated figure so far, the Serb, in this game. It's the one that young boys will often look to for creative influence and responsibility. Cleared straight out of play. There has been a, a change in the Wolves goal as well. That's the other substitution made at half time, bringing on Will Norris for John Ruddy. And so they'll both have had 45 minutes each in uh, both of the two fixtures of this Oran Cup. If uh, Burn were to pull a couple back and level it up after 90 minutes, it would be Norris that would face the penalties. If a shootout is required to uh, to settle the issue, not something that Wolves are currently having to worry about. Ibe <laughs> Kari trying to chase that one down. Would have been a frustration to him, I'm sure, that he wasn't able to make the trip with the rest of the squad to Switzerland and had to wait a couple of days before linking up. But he'll be grateful to get the opportunity, therefore, of 45 minutes today. Gibbs White is seeing plenty of it in the early stages of the second half. Now Giles. Back helping out his defence was uh, Christian Feschnecht in that wide right role. We'll now try and come away with it and maybe lead the uh, the counter attack. Gibral so covering good ground as well in his ability to do that. And it does get the free kick to uh, Nuno's frustration right in front of the Wolves coach. To Costa, the uh, player penalised. Willie Bowley just shepherds it behind. There is Will Norris, former Cambridge keeper, who's just signed a new extended deal. He only arrived last summer on a three-year contract. Made just the one championship appearance at the end of last season. But he was a regular goalkeeper for them in the cup competitions. The former Royston town man. And with those improved terms to highlight really his improvement, his development since he's been at the club. The yeah. imminent arrival of Rui Patricio could... Further see him slip down the pecking order. We shall see. And it goes here from Giles towards Bonatini. He got 12 goals last season on loan from Al Hilal in Saudi Arabia, but uh, none of them since the turn of the year. And it was believed initially, actually, that Wolves had decided against making his uh, loan move a permanent one. They had to take up that option or otherwise before the end of last month. I believe the last minute change of heart when they did decide to do the deal and he is now a permanent member of the squad as the Brazilian four year contract he signed at the end of June played a big part in the opening goal today this is Batone Right, goes back to his goalkeeper. Yeah, it's very much on young boys to force the issue in this second half. Haven't seen too much evidence of it yet as Van Balmus goes long towards Oro. He continues to uh, feed off scraps so far. The young boys' top scorer.
Helga Costa clearly caught. Of course, the format of this competition means that the two overseas visitors both take on the two Swiss sides. So they don't actually meet each other, Wolves and Feyenoord, who had very contrasting fortunes in their two games. Beaten comprehensively by this young boys side 3-0, but then responded with a 5-0 win last night at the Tiso Arena against uh, Basel. There's Roger Asale. Didn't find a way through. Neves kept his composure to pick the pass for Helder Costa. Giles, Neves again. A lot more going through him in the second half. This could be the chance for Bonatini. It is the chance for Bonatini. He takes it beautifully. As all three Wolves goals have been scored in some style this afternoon, that might just settle this already. Early stages of the second half. Been hurt in the process, Leo Bonatini. But he has made it 3-0. And the Oren Cup is heading to Molyneux, it would appear. Barring the most dramatic of collapses from here. He's been threatening this, uh, Bonatini. Skipped away from Vertright. Benito couldn't get it across in time, goes across the goalkeeper. Fine finish. A little innocuous as to how he was caught, having got his shot away. That's why he stayed down, but he's back on his feet now and able to start the celebrations. Hoping that the goals from the early part of last season will return at the start of the new season. Ten minutes into this second half, and Wolves extend their lead. 3-0. Victory of any sort will be enough for them to lift the cup at the end of the game. Very much on course to do that. Some uh, worrying results and performances for the Swiss sides. It was expected they would be much more competitive, maybe, given how close they are to the start of their domestic season. In Basel, we're talking about a team who reached the last 16 of last season's Champions League. In Young Boys, the team that took their title and will go straight into the playoff round of the Champions League this season. And Basel by Feyenoord last night, and so far, Young Boys here against Wolves are being exposed somewhat. Fast feet, but heading in the wrong direction. Has to go back to uh, Von Balmus to clear it away again. He was looking for a Sale. Boli was there first. Ruben Neves. Gibbs White, so composed on the ball, even when he isn't afforded a lot of space. And he's the one, along with Neves, maybe in the middle, that has not had much room in which to work. Flag up here against Helder Costa. Big season potentially ahead for him. That's that move from Benfica. Getting the chance to prove he can play in the Premier League or will be getting that chance. And it's such a carrot for so many of this Wolf side. To prove they can step up after such a successful first season under Nuno. And they swept all before them in the championship. Mentioned how young boys took the Swiss title with uh, four games to spare. Wolves also counted really to that championship title promotion was uh, secured in the middle of April they won the, the championship the title a week later having led the league since late October never let that lead slip finished nine points clear of Cardiff City and they slipped straight into their side in Switzerland in pre-season this Oren Cup is anything to go by here they come again in a Bacarek Thought about the shot, Look for Bonatini instead, it's out as far as Ruben Neves, switching it up for Ryan Giles. Time to deliver a good ball in, where Doherty was the closest to capitalising, he has actually gone for the corner. Final touch there was off the young boy's defender, but Matt Doherty was in there to try and attack it. Came off Benito last. Good ball from Giles. After impressing in the first half on Tuesday, has been allowed to continue a little later into the game today. Alder Costa with this corner. It's glanced off the head of Vertrite, a big powerful centre back, kept in by Neves. Wasn't able to do anything with it in the end.
Plenty for Gerardo Ciarani to think about just at the moment, ahead of his first season in charge. And some familiar names down the years that have taken charge of this young boy's side. We talked about Adi Hutter and his success last season. Vladimir Petkovic, Christian Gross, Bernard Chalant, Martin Roda have all had their periods in the job in Bern. Hutter had held the position since uh, September of 2015. Hickam Wolves again. Just got underneath it. De Costa. Knew it from the moment that it left his boot, but it showcases his confidence right now to have a go. One fine goal to his name already. And each of the three goals that Wolves have scored have been uh, beautifully taken. In terms of the build-up, but also the composed nature of the finishes that we've seen. Does bode well this for Nuno's team. Ahead of the bigger challenges to come in pre-season and then the challenges that really matter in the Premier League. Young boys still look a little rattled. Sulemani, home fans needing something to try and get behind. Not going to come like that. Oro, his target. It's a combination Sulemani to Oro that has been such a familiar and successful one in recent seasons for the Burn club, but again, just a yard off the pace with that one. That third goal really does seem to have rocked them back again. If there was any belief in Burn that the home side could get back into this game, they well have disappeared with that third goal from Bonatini. run again and the uh, the foul was committed I think just outside the area by Loris Benito is having a, a very awkward afternoon referee wants a word with him so we reached the hour mark here well, clearly the initial contact was just outside on uh, Helda Costa he takes some stopping these days Benito having a tough time of it as mentioned but it's not necessarily his preferred position in the heart of the defence well, it's a transition he may well be making at this stage of his career former Swiss uh, under 21 international had a really bad couple of injury hit years after first joining the club from uh, Benfica back in 2015 played much more frequently last season he's conceded the free kick here which uh, Morgan Gibbs White stands over for Wolves plenty back in the yellow to deal with the initial danger Played as far as Neves. He has it again here. Ruben Neves, you can certainly see what he was trying. So too could Von Balmus. Who came, read the situation well and collected in uh, some style, a flappable style. It's not always been the case today. Just past the hour mark now, so uh, massed changes, I think, are imminent for Wolves. Those that are about to come on will do so in a position of real strength in the context of the contest. All right, with a little flick behind, it didn't quite fall for Fashnecht. Kevin and Barbie, no way through for him either. And Futrich will square it for Benito. Masala's calling for the free kick, and he is going to get it here, the Cameroonian. Player who joined uh, on loan initially from uh, Mazembe back home, made permanent last summer. He's won 13 caps uh, for the Ivory Coast. Scored actually for his country against uh, Moldova in March. The Wolves reinforcements are ready as you can see, but they won't come on until after this free kick. Which is uh, perfectly onto the head of Oro and it flashes just wide. 
Well, it's the sort of chance he's been waiting all game for. The sort of chance you would normally expect him to stick away. The big French forward. Kind of fraction wide it goes. And Wolves now will make these changes. Good ball in, though, which found him rising unchallenged round about the penalty spot. And he would have backed himself to do better with that. As Bonatini did at the other end with the way that he took the third Wolves goal. Which is going to be one of his last contributions, I would have thought. One of the players making way. Wolves utilising the strength and depth of the squads. Courtney Horst there coming on. Number nine, uh, Rafa Mir got the opening goal when he started the game against Basel. He's into the action as well. Benny Ashley Seal also started on Tuesday. He's on. Elliot Watt is on as well, the young Scottish midfield player. Danny Bart at the back. So to Cameron John, who was also a starter against Basel. Combining these substitutions with the, uh, the drinks break. Near enough halfway through this second half. A few instructions being passed on, a few observations pointed out to those whose uh, involvement has just ended. It was three goals to the good when they make these changes. to see what the rest of his squad have got from here see if they can uh, maintain the momentum in the match and go on maybe and further extend the scoreline as they look to secure the silverware hard bit has been done really in that respect it's all about just seeing it through from here and that will be with the attempt to preserve the clean sheet all going in search of more remains to be seen Stay with us to find out because Wolves are playing some really decent stuff at times and it might open up for Enna Bakari. Here it does. Good stop by Von Balmus who got down smartly to make that stick. It was heading for his bottom corner. Benny Ashley Seal in the build-up with uh, an immediate impact. And prior to Enna Bakara trying to thread it into the corner. He's given a clear sight of goal to tempt him to do that. Decent handling from uh, von Balmus. Raphael Mir has had a very much a bit part to play for Wolves since uh, his arrival at the club in January from Valencia. Where he played under Nuno Espirito Santo, gave him his uh, La Liga debut at Nuno. He only played twice though for the first team in the Spanish top flight. So the four and a half year contract in Wolverhampton. And Barbo, who's down here, was a, maybe a little off balance anyway, but always likely to get the decision out number two to one. Played forward by Batone. Gibral so working it wide for Asale. Vertraik trying to bring the ball out from the back came through the youth ranks at the club four years ago now he did have a loan spell at Grasshopper in 2015 player of Ghanaian heritage 23 only started four games last year he's hoping to cement a more regular role this time around so we look at the challenge on Benny Ashley Seal A foul challenge this time on Cameron John. It's actually gone the other way. He's the play penalised. Very highly rated, the 18 year old. A number of other Premier League clubs interested in him. Joined at 15 from the South End Academy. There was talk of a loan move for him back in January, which I think Wolves actually were quite keen on, but it didn't materialise. That might be an option for the, the coming campaign for John. Courtney Horse. There he is again. The 
and former Wickham centre back. Been with Wolves though since January of 2014, former England under 21 international. He went to the uh, Toulon tournament a couple of summers ago. Competition for which actually Elliot Watt, who's just come on, was called up for by uh, Scotland this year to his surprise. As he's still only 18, came uh, a couple of years earlier than he might have expected. Here's Mbabu. Just past now the midway point of the second half in the final fixture of four in this year's Zoran Cup. With both of these sides winning their first fixtures, it turned into effectively the final. It's been a fairly one-sided affair up to now. Here's uh, Gibral So. Mbappé. Loves to get forward, as we've seen down that right-hand side. Can he get past a couple of Wolves defenders? Well, he does. And now Lutz up. And it took a third to stop him and get the block in in Courtney Horse. And then Babu bringing one of the biggest cheers of the afternoon from the home fans who haven't had too much to shout about so far. As well as his time at Newcastle, he was on the Rangers in 2015. Kevin and Barbie didn't play for them in the first team. Corner nodded back really from whence it came to Suleimani. Flick through, looking for Asale, might come back to him from Gibral So can really bring it under control. Never quite had that under his spell, Roger Asale. A little bit more pressure being exerted on the Wolves penalty area here. Maybe no great surprise that it's come in the immediate aftermath of them changing much of the team, although Connor Cody remains in the heart of the defence. He's the one that played it clear. Space in the, uh, the midfield. For Pedro Gonçalves, and then in by Cameron John. Wolves quickly turning defence into attack. Again, he will feel he had little option but to concede the corner, maybe. Which the aforementioned Elliot Watt, one of the Wolves subs, is coming across to take. Neat and tidy in the, uh, the game against Basel. Happy enough with his performance, he said afterwards. But he's uh, overhit that one. Real chase on for Rafa Mir to try and keep in play, which he's not quite able to do. He's another that was only told a couple of days before this trip that he was going to be on it. Elliot Watt, he was expecting actually to go to the Netherlands this summer instead with uh, the under-23 squad. Wasn't surprised to find himself with the seniors, and he, he did settle in in that defensive midfield role. In the, the heart of the pitch on Tuesday. Learning so much, he says, from being on the same trip as Ruben Neves, playing against him in training, playing with him in training, getting to uh, pick up parts of his game and put them into his own performances. But it can also be about the camaraderie. There does seem to be a real togetherness about this whole squad in pre-season here, as there was through much of last season, of course. The young players uh, feeling right at home and being made to feel right at home by the senior stars, the more established members of the squad, which can only further aid their confidence. Uh, Mbappé is having quite a big part to play at the moment, but still no end product for young boys of Burn. first made the move uh, to Newcastle back in 2013 after a trial from Servette in Switzerland. Only made three league appearances in uh, effectively four years at the club. Although he was out on loan fairly frequently during that time. That's a good ball, finding John, rolls it dangerously into the middle. It needed the defender's intervention actually, because that could have been a tap-in for Raphael Mir. Just about stayed on side. But the argument somewhat academic in the end anyway because of the uh, important foot in, which goes for the corner. And another chance for Elliot Watts. He'll want to do rather more with this one. Right in front of those Wolves fans as he takes the kick. Again, it's a deep one, but it has been kept in this time by Enna Bakare. It's the side netting only. From the half-time substitute. 
created a little bit of space for himself, didn't he? It's ultimately not quite enough when it came to the finish from that sort of angle. Was rapidly running out of time though, heading towards the closing quarter of an hour. Norris in no great hurry and rather like John Ruddy before him, he hasn't been kept too busy. Closest that young boys have come, that header from Mora, which flashed just wide of the target. Wouldn't maybe have been much that Norris could have done about it had it been heading for the corner instead. Yeah, the Spanish striker is holding a roll really out on that right-hand side. We'll keep it in play. He had to hit a Bacare in the, uh, the middle. The uh, youth team products came through the ranks, having uh, moved to the Midlands and to Birmingham, age 15, from uh, his native Nigeria. And first involved in the uh, world's first team squad that same summer. And he signed professional in 2015. Seal Gonsalves and it goes again towards Ashley Seal who couldn't quite connect but he made a good run in there and he wasn't far away from profiting just missed time the leap a little bit under pressure from that young boy's defence but it's uh, a play that they have high hopes for Attendance announced to just over 3,000, I think that was, which would make it the uh, biggest crowd of the competition. First three games all bringing in just under 2,000 at the Tiso Arena in Beale. Study in Nerfell, a host venue for the first ever time at the Oran Cup. Generally in recent seasons, three of the matches played in Beale with uh, one guest venue, which was in Grenchen last year. Well, he has done well to uh, keep that in play. There's Cameron John. Slightly different role to that which he played in a back three on the Tuesday against Basel here. He's already taken over from Ryan Giles at left wing back. Showing his versatility in the squad, perhaps. There he is again. And a Bakare taking it just in front of him. Rafa Mir. Mbappé, the time uh, rapidly ticking away now for young boys. You don't get the sense they've ever really had the belief that we're going to get back in the game. They'll need to be sharper a week tomorrow. I'm sure they will be for that competitive opener against Grasshopper. New coach, uh, Sioni, signed a three-year contract. He's got dual Spanish citizenship, actually. He's coached the, the junior sides all the way up at Luzerne before he took over there from Marcus Babel in January. Working with uh, Christoph Speicher, the sporting director. He won uh, just under half a century of caps himself for Switzerland as a left-back. This is Mbappé, Suleimani. They finished as runners up last year in the Orient Cup. Beat Benfica 5-1 in their final fixture 12 months ago after drawing with Stoke City and then losing on penalties, which is what effectively decided the tournament, albeit that was in their first match. The last won it back in 2007 for the seventh time in total. They played in it 22 times now. That will be a free kick considered by uh, Elliot Watt. 
been back in training since the 20th of June, so uh, only a month before their season started. Very early start to the domestic season in Switzerland in the summer, as is uh, usually the case. So they've actually only been back in pre-season training just over a week longer than Wolves, but they are that much closer to the start of their season. Wolves reported back 27th of June. To Compton and their training ground. She still comes away with it. And Ubakare, all sorts of space for number four. But well, Baldus is able to make the save and then it bounces the whale food trek for the corner. Well, they'll be disappointed here not to have further extended the scoreline. Only had the goalkeeper to beat. Von Baldus did well, made himself a big imposing target, coming quickly off his line. And it's the sort of chance that Wolves have been taking fairly frequently throughout this contest, but right under Bakare there, unable to follow suit. A deflection behind off uh, Vertreit means they still have the corner and a possible further threat here. And by what again, it's far too close this time to the goalkeeper. That hasn't quite got the range right yet from those corners over on the Wolves' left. was under some pressure but there's an element of composure in the ability to bring the ball out from the back here there's Doherty Connor Cody looks like he's going to get through the, uh, the full 90 minutes maybe into the last 10 of them Courtney Horse Bakari took a tumble after the ball had gone there and the referee had spotted it in fairness he tried to play the advantage and, and that didn't materialize the free kick has been given still reflecting maybe on his uh, missed chance a moment or two ago plenty for Nuno to uh, reflect on most of it positive from this Swiss trip Isn't quite over yet before they, they lift the Oran Cup, as it seems uh, they are almost certain to do now. And Fabio had to make sure he got in the way and got his head to that first. This is Mir again. He's continued his run, cuts it back too far behind Asti Seal. It's another that they've got high hopes for, the big centre forward, Benny Asti Seal, the 19-year-old. Brought in actually as a free agent in October after he rejected terms at Norwich, although they did still have to pay compensation for him. Left Arsenal at 14, he had a trial at Chelsea as well. play on that right hand side but he's uh, gone down the middle with uh, Rafa Mir to his right everybody's so familiar with the formation now and there are various players in this world squad capable of playing different positions within the same system which always offers the flexibility required in personnel trying to ensure there's enough Depth in the squad to cope with the Premier League campaign as well, albeit, of course, they'll play fewer games than in the Championship. And certainly higher profile fixtures in store this season for Wolverhampton Wanderers. They've had uh, an eventful time of it since they were last relegated from the Premier League back in 2012, went straight down again to League One. As uh, Von Balmus comes in, gathers this one straight back up to the championship, and now last year under Nuno, the second year under the uh, Chinese owners. They didn't just get themselves out of the championship, they really run away from the rest. Nuno's 
Espirito Santo and his coaching staff well deserving you would have thought therefore of the uh, new terms that came their way this week as a new assistant as well Ian Cathro who he previously worked with at Rio Ave former Hearts boss joining the coaching staff for this season as the change is made in goal to give Andreas Sondergaard a few minutes Will Norris who came on at half time hasn't seen out the half and we're through Patricio not yet joining up with the squad Sondergaard the 17 uh, year old Danish goalkeeper is uh, the third custodian on the trip and will get a few minutes of first team action here where they paid about £400,000 for in January from a Danish under-17 international at last year's European Championships was preferred to Jack Ruddy as the uh, third choice back at goalkeeper on this trip neither Ruddy John Ruddy that is all Will Norris have had much to do at all really in this final fixture of the Oran Cup that will be a free kick though chance for young boys to commit players forward although they've declined the opportunity really to do that still even at 3-0 down heading towards the final five minutes we're not seeing much urgency from the Swiss, Sw uh, Swiss side who seem to be resigned to their fate certainly after the Bonatini goal 10 minutes into the second half if not before that a little surprising given uh, what we saw from them in the 3-0 win against Feyenoord Albeit that was a game where at Wondel in front they were living dangerously and it could easily have gone the other way before they scored a couple of times late on in the match 3-0 not necessarily telling the whole story of that particular fixture but maybe more accurately reflecting this one from Valencia on a free transfer. Paired in style to his compatriot Ruben Neves. He will be a potential deputy for in this season. The Portuguese under 20 international. There is again. This is what? done by John. Ina Bacare, Leonardo Batone, who's gone with him. He was resisting the uh, temptation to make any changes. This stage of their season, a week before the big kickoff, the uh, inference is this could well be their preferred starting lineup for the game against Grasshoppers, or might have been. Maybe this would have given Coach Sioani something else to think about, not in the way that he'd been hoping for. And Barbu, who considered the free kick, referee hasn't shown a yellow card yet. well have been deceived on the evidence of that though. Pascal Nerlach, another referee, has had a fairly straightforward time of it today. We have seen yellow cards in this sort of competition, a couple of feisty fixtures earlier in the tournament, but this has been somewhat easier for the referee to keep a, a grip off. Free kick swung in dangerously, but just too many men in the middle really. And it runs away from John. in by Connor Cody he goes back to Sondergaard Raphael Mayer Ashley Seal was in complete control Elliot Watts Pedro Gonçalves alongside him they're still dictating the uh, the tempo in midfield, those two. Nobody really from young boys going to close down inside the, uh, the Wolves half. I think they're just waiting for the whistle. A little surprising from the, uh, the Swiss champions. A little concerning, I'm sure, for their supporters here today. Danny 
Bart trying to play that one forward down the, uh, the right-hand side. Well, that's dangerous. The back pass has sold the goalkeeper short. Raphael Mir with an open goal. He has got back. He's from Balmers, but is still beaten. It's 4-0. Wolves finish off. Young boys are barred with a couple of minutes to go in the Oran Cup. And Raphael Mir scores for the second game in succession. He got their first goal of the competition against Basel on Tuesday. He may well have finished off the scoring for them here with the fourth against Young Boys on Saturday. But it was something of a gift of a goal. The back pass too short. Not enough on it to reach David von Balmus in goal. And Raphael Mir kept his composure, took his time, but got the job done with the finish. 4-0. And the Oran Cup is heading to Molyneux. Stay in England. Won by Stoke City last season, previously won by Ipswich Town. Wolves will be the uh, third English winners of this trophy. And they've done it emphatically in the end. The only side with a 100% record. Got six goals now, and just the one conceded during their two fixtures in Switzerland. And it kind of sums up young boys' afternoon, the concession of the fourth. Never really been in the game, a little too uh, casual at times. Heads had dropped after going through behind, certainly. And playing a big part in their own downfall of the uh, manner of the fourth. to pick themselves up to begin their title defence next week and try and move on from this. Just a solitary minute of added time indicated by the fourth official. And then Wolves can get their hands on the trophy, which they will be uh, presented with down by the running track, we understand, at the end of the game. Two goals in each half, and far too good for young boys from Bern. Difficult, really, to read too much into the form book at this stage, I guess, in this competition. Young boys have beaten Feyenoord 3-0, now 4-0 behind against Wolves. Feyenoord having won by five against Basel, who Wolves have just scraped past. But it is back to back victories for the men from Molyneux and they win this season's Oran Cup. They do so in fine fashion. Never really in doubt today. And this winner takes all final fixture of the competition. Wells running away with it with those two goals in each half. Cavaliero and Costa in the first 45. And then Bonatini and right at the end, Rafael Mir to settle the scoring, the man who got their first goal of this season's competition. You know, Spirito Santo and his side can celebrate. Gerardo Cioane and Young Boys plenty to think about before their season, their title defence gets underway next week. It's the Wolves supporters that you can probably hear in the background at Stadion Neufeld making all of the noise as they await the trophy presentation here because uh, the Oran Cup is coming back to England. All succeeding Stoke City as the holders of this competition, the oldest of its type in Europe. Full time at Stadion Neufeld, young boys of Burn nil, Wolverhampton Wanderers 4. They've certainly enjoyed their afternoon in the Swiss sunshine. And four games to come against the uh, mix hall for Ajax next up. So look at the goals. The first was uh, wonderfully taken by Cavaliero, then set up the second for Helder Costa on the half hour time, did run well, got there first and it's a cool, composed, chipped finish past the goalkeeper into the uh, second half and uh, Leo Bonatini made it 3-0 with this finish, just 10 minutes after the break the Brazilian opening uh, his account in the competition and something of a gift of a goal right at the end for Rafa Mir goalkeeper just about got back in position Still not much that he could do about that one. The back pass having sold him short and the Spaniard scores for the second game in succession. Got the first goal of this competition for Wolves. He's got the last for them as well. A tournament that they have gone on to dominate. 
The inquest is already going on amongst uh, the home players as uh, they head for the dressing room, but Wolves soaking up the sunshine now as they get ready for the silverware. Might not be as uh, significant as the championship trophy that they picked up in the spring, but the Oran Cup is also uh, heading to uh, the Midlands after this. And we will uh, have that ceremony coming up for you in the next few minutes. We will see Wolves get their hands on the trophy, so stay with us.